Europe, U.S. push for world corporate global tax. And this is a topic report, so we're going to look and see what the world has to say about this, this idea of a world global tax. EU looks for global tax agreement by June. Wow. By June. They're hoping to have a global tax agreement by June after push from U.S., this is from Bloomberg.com. Explore what's moving in the global economy. Okay, I don't really care about that. Stephanopoulos, po- Stephanomics? What, are, what, are, what is Stephanomics podcast? I have no idea. So you're not going to, you're going to give me a, you're not going to give me an, in, 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 in uh, whatever, you suck. Uh, subjectively, of course, of course, of course, subjectively. And then you're going to give me a pop-up. So we have European Union officials are looking to wrap up a global agreement to harmonize corporate taxes and impose more effective levies on Internet giants by the end of June following an appeal from the U.S. And who do you think who do you think is going to benefit from that? That's going to be a giant slush fund that will enable the 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 global. I don't even like using the word globalist. It's really they're not globalist. They're. They're, comp- they're competing with one another. Trust me, there's no one globalist that is controlling everyone. It's basically a bunch of, of very well-off, very powerful individuals who have figured out that, hey, we can, we can work around this whole nation-state limitation altogether. Why light bulbs are standardized, and they're standardized... I mean, they are, they are, in this case, it's not exactly a great analogy because I would say standardization is somewhat, somewhat useful. But the primary motivation for light bulbs uh, being standardized is so that uh, uh, companies can in- enter their product into multiple markets without having to vary it. So it's a lot cheaper for them. And that's pretty much the principles going on here. They're trying to internationalize standards that will allow them to more easily move across nation state boundaries with little nation state accountability who gets to are they are they are they going to create a governing body that's going to decide what to do about this global tax they're going to create the global tax before there is a governing body at place a governing body that amongst nation states you have various uh, assumptions regarding the nature of authority and how authority is legitimized some nation states believe in represent you know, the consent of the governed so to speak some still have some notion of divine right authority and how, how are you going to reconcile all that but somehow they're just going to create this tax by june i, I mean i, I doubt very much that it'll happen uh, let's see another one here from tri- triptown.com we failed the test of covid19 says human rights champion i uh, don't know why that's in there that shouldn't be in there you suck europe feeling optimistic about global tax agreement on corporate giants and from that is from Fortune. And then from Reuters, we got Explainer. What is a global minimum tax and how could it affect companies, countries? Senate Democrats release international tax frame. This is uh, JDS Supra, JDSupra.com. And we have Germany and France. See global tax deal and reach after U.S. pledge. And again, a lot of unanswered questions here. That as this thing gets closer, more and more people are going to start asking these questions. You know, the who, what, whys, and whens and wheres are, uh, uh, they haven't even been discussed. It's just somehow this is going to save the children. 